Number 42. In a meeting of mimes, mime 1 goes through a displacement vector d equals to 4 meters in the i direction plus 5 meters in the j direction, and mime 2 goes through a displacement of d2, which is equal to minus 3 meters in the i direction plus 4 meters in the j direction. So let us write the vectors. So vector d1 is equal to 4 in the i direction plus 5 in the j direction, don't forget to include the units, which is meters. So vector d2 is equal to minus 3 in the i direction, plus 4 in the j direction, also in meters. So what are d1 cross d, d2? Let there be d1 dot product with d2. Let there see d1 plus d2 dot product with d2 and letter D, the component of D1 along the direction of D2. Cause, okay, so let's start from letter A. So for letter A, we have to do the cross product between D1 and D2. And the trick here, you just have to do the determinant of this matrix. The first row is always the same. It is I hat, J hat k hat. The second row, it's the first vector, so 4, 5, and 0. 4, 5, and 0. And the last row is the second vector, minus 3, 4, and 0. So you have to do the determinant of that matrix. So the determinant of this matrix, so let's see. You can do that your own way. So I'm doing mine. So it is 16 in the k direction, plus 16, let's see what else, plus 15 in the k direction, so th this gives us 31 in the k direction, don't forget to include the unit which is meter squared, because now you have meters times meters, so now it is meters squared. Okay, so this is uh, the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want to do the dot product. So we want to do D1 dot D2, which is equal to... So, so that the trick for doing a dot product, so let me color it up so it's easier for you to see what's going on here. So let me repeat vector D1 dot vector D2. Okay, so the thing that you have to do when you have a dot product, you just multiply each component and then sum everything up. So you multiply red by red and blue by blue. So it would be minus 12, so this one times this one over here, plus 5 times 4, which is 20. So this is 8 meters squared. So this is the answer of letter B. For letter C we have to sum. First we have to sum D1 and D2. So for letter C we have to do D1 plus D2 which is equal to 1 in the i direction plus 9 in, in the j direction and then we have to do this vector. Let's call it vector D3 we have to do the dot product between D3 and D2. So D3 dot D2 and this is equal to minus 3 plus 36 and this is equal to 33 meter squared. Okay, so this is the answer of letter C. For letter D, let's remember what the dot product means. For example, let's say that I have a vector, vector A, and I'm doing the dot product with the, the unit vector I hat, for example. So let's draw it so you see what I'm talking about over here. So let's say this is I hat and this is J hat, and this is our vector A. When I do this dot product over here, what I'm doing, I'm taking the component of vector A into the i direction. So when I do the dot product between A and i hat, 
I'm taking AX in this case, which is the component of vector A into the I direction. And that's almost the same thing that I want you to do over here for letter D. For letter D, I want the component of D1 along the direction of vector D2. However, you cannot just do D1 dot D2 because D2 is not an unit vector so you have to transform d2 into an unit vector so let's call it d2 hat is equal to vector d2 over the magnitude of the vector d2 and now this is a unit vector so you have to do the dot product between a and d2 hat that's what you have to do if you do this you have the component of vector sorry that's not vector a it's vector d1 when you do this d1 dot d2 hat you have the component of d2 in the component of d1 in d2 direction that's a long direction of d2 and that's exactly what you what you want so this is what you have to do okay so we have we, we need the magnitude of vector d2 the magnitude of vector d2 is just the square root of each component squared so minus 3 is squared plus 4 is squared and this gives us let's see this gives us well this gives us 5 right so this gives us 5 okay so we have the magnitude of the vector and that's pretty much it so all we have to do is d1 times okay so let me write it as it is so we have to do 4 in the i direction plus 5 in the j direction times uh, the unit vector d2 which is minus 3 over 5 in the i direction plus 4 over 5 in the j direction so this is what we have to do and this is equal to minus 12 over 5 plus 20 over 5 and this is equal to 8 over 5 meters so why meters and not meters square as it was in letter a b and c because when we get the unit vector you are dividing by meters let's say this is in meters and this is in meters as well so this doesn't have a unit so that's why when you multiply d1 times the unit vector d2 you lose the unit of this part of the multiplication and then you only have meters from this vector over here that's why it's only meters and not meters squared